Hello, everyone. How is everyone today? Thanks for joining me. Are you going to get ready to train for life? It's not just a workout. It's not just an activity. We are actually going to train our body from the top to the bottom for life so that we can live and be comfortable and healthy. So let's just start with a nice big arm reach up, reach, bring them down nice and easy. I want you to think about squeezing the muscles in your back and your shoulder blades to get those arms up. Take them down. Good. One more time. Lift and reach. Take them down. Perfect. Now I just want you to actually tilt your head. You can put your hand just on your head just nice and lightly pressing your shoulder blade into the floor and lifting that shoulder blade. Press it down. Pull it up. Good. One more time. Take it down. Press and lift. Let's do the other side. So if it's not comfortable to put your hand here, you can just press your hand towards the floor as long as your shoulder's following. Press, feel a nice opening in that neck joint. Good. Sometimes when we sleep, it gets a little stiff. Bring it up. Good. All right, let's drop that chin to your chest and look to the right side of the room. Good. Drop your chin down again and lift your head to me. Hello. Let's do that again. And we're going to turn to the other side. Take your Chin down. Look to the right, left side of the room this time. Bring it back to the center and lift. We're going to do it one more time on each side. Take your chin down. Now look to the right. Maybe you can look just a little further back to the middle. Lift your head. One more time to the left. Take it down nice and smooth and easy. Rotate. Bring it back to the center. Come back up. Great job. Now let's just roll that head clockwise, nice and easy and gently, waking everything up. And other way. Take your time. You don't have to go at my pace. Do whatever is most comfortable for you. Excellent. And bring your head to the center. How about you extend warm arm out in front of you? And we're just going to gently pull on those fingers two times and press down two times. Pull, pull, down. Good. Two more. Good for opening up that flexibility at your wrist and down. Let's change hands, press, and then point your fingers to the floor. Feel that wrist. Nice, eh? Good. Two times, lift it back. Sometimes we get tight in these arms, just loosening them up just a little bit. Good. Now let's take your hands down to your sides. Balance yourself on your chair, so you're just sort of sitting on the edge with your sit bones, but nice and balanced and definitely safe. We're going to lift those arms to the side slowly and do some small circles. And while we're doing the circles, you're going to pull your belly into your spine, and you're going to feel your shoulder blades doing a little bit of work. Can you make those circles a little bigger? And if this isn't comfortable, you can always bend your elbows just a little bit shorten that lever length. Good. Excellent. A little bigger. Two big ones. One and two. And rest your arms. Shake them out just a little bit. Yes. That was to the front. Now we're going to lift them with our palms up this time. And we're going to start making those small circles at first. Go at your own pace. Good. 
And let's make them just a little bit bigger. I love it. How about we do two big circles? Excellent. One more. Great job. Shake everything out. Now, I'd just like you to put your fingers on the, on the chair, on the base of the chair, and we're going to turn to the right, back to the middle, turn to the left, back to the middle. I'm pressing on the chair with my left hand, turning right, coming back to center. Good. Two more times, one on each side. Turn, back to the middle. And one more time. Excellent. We're just moving down the body now. I'm gonna actually ask you if you can, hold on underneath your knee, you can, or underneath your thigh, you can hold on at your knee, and we're just gonna pull one leg up to your chest and bring it down. Then we're gonna do the other leg, lift. So you'll notice I'm not bending over, my spine stays nice and straight, and I'm trying to pull that knee into my chest. Range of motion for all of us is different. Never pull to pain. Always just stay comfortable, good. One more on each side. And down, and lift, excellent. We're gonna take your right leg and you're gonna squeeze your quad muscle and lift and lower your foot. Other leg, lift and lower. If you need to hold onto the chair for extra balance, do so. Lift and lower. I don't know about you, but I feel my core kicking in as well. And lift and lower. One more on each side. Good, perfect. All right, let's lift your arms up, bring them down, lift them up again. We're gonna do a little bit quicker pace now. Try to get your heart and bring it alive. Lift and lower, and lift and lower. Two more, just like this, and then we're gonna change. Can you drive your arms up to the ceiling super quick? Quick hold, bring them down. Quick hold and down. Again, quick, <laughs> perfect. And down, lift and lower one more. Up and down, great job. Now, can you just start marching your legs? Left, left. One, two. I'd like you to try to lift that heel right off the floor. And you have an option, lifting that whole foot up, or you can just lift from that ankle. Good. All right, can you give me 10 fast steps? Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 3, 2, 1, rest. Slowly just march it out. We're going to do that three more times. Are you ready? In three, two, one, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Keep your legs marching. I feel my heart rate rising, do you? And in three, two, one, and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, you've mastered that. So we're gonna add arms this time at the same time we do our feet. 10 steps times three. Are you ready? In three, two, one, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Woo! Keep those feet moving. All right, again, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, two, and rest. I think I did 12 that time. <laughs> Keep moving. In three, two, one, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one, good, rest. March wide. Did you think you were gonna get a rest? No, and narrow. And wide, wide to narrow, good, wide. 
So we're actually opening our hips up just a little bit. And I want you to try to think about squeezing this muscle that's behind you. Yes. Two more like this. And then we're going to add a little speed. Good. All right, let's add some speed wherever you can, whatever you can do. One and back. Up and back. Four. We got four more. Good. Excellent. One more. Good. All right, let's take those arms over to the side, press them out. Let's lift them up, take them down. Notice I'm bending my elbows at the top and down. Lift, lift, lower. Four more. Up. Good. Three. And down, you're squeezing your back. Good. One more time. Now, how about if we put it together? We're, yes, we need some brain work here. We're going to wide, narrow, up, and down. Yes, we are. All right, we're going to start with our legs. So get comfortable. Pull your shoulders back and down. Belly comes tight to your spine. Let's go. I'm going to show you first, and then you can join. It goes one, two, three, four, up, down. One, two, three, four, up, down. Good. Up, down. Four more. Up and down. Two more. You are doing so well. <laughs> One more for good measure. Let's go up and lift and lower. Good. Shake everything out. How are you feeling? And juven rejuvenating. Yes. Feels great. All right. We're going to work on a little bit of strength now for our body. We need some strength in our muscles to do everyday functions. So I want you to try to bring your knees just a little wide, wider than your hips. And come on and sit up nice and tall. Bring your elbows to your shoulder height. We're just gonna twist and we're gonna try to touch that knee and then we're gonna come back up and we twist and we come back up. Let's go together. Down, smooth and lift. Don't forget to breathe. Try not to hold your breath and twist. Good, you may notice you have one side a little tighter or a little stiffer than the other side. And that's normal, most of us have that issue. Yes, good. Wherever your range of motion is, that's where I want you to come. Never, ever, ever push to pain. That's just silly. It just makes us hurt and then we can't be active. Good job, everyone. You've got one more on each side. We press and touch, come back. Last one, great job. Bring those knees together. Get nice and comfortable on your chair. We're gonna work our arms, our shoulders, our lats, and our delts. So we don't have any weights, but I promise you, you're gonna feel that. So hands start just by your hips. We're gonna lift and lower those arms. Are you ready? Let's go up, up, and down up and down again so important to go at your own pace not mine up squeezing those shoulder blades back and down and up two more good last one all right take them down now let's lift our arms to the sides oh you thought you were gonna get a break right no up lift and down so your palms are facing the floor right now good up nice and smooth down two more how are you feeling you can take a rest anytime you need to Hold your arms up on the next one. Last one here, lift up and hold. Now I just need you to put your palms up. 
palms down, palms up, palms down. Six, good. Five, hold those arms up. Four, not even five seconds, come on, come on. Three, breathe, two, and last one. Great job, let's bring them down. Are you feeling it in here, in your shoulders and your back? Ha. It's excellent. All right, let's move on to some bigger muscles. They're your lower muscles. So we warmed up. We're just gonna lift our knees up to our chest as far as you can bring them. Each time you lift, you're gonna try to bring it just a little more further. So we've got eight and down. Seven, good. Six. It helps if you can pull that toe into your chest. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now let's extend that right leg forward. No rest. Forward and down. Seven. Good. And six. We're at four. Good. Last one on this leg. Now we're going to pulse up for three. Three, two, one. Other side. Three, two, one. Other side. Ooh, hello, legs. Three, two. How's your core doing? Is your core nice and tight? Are you still sitting up nice and straight? Great job. Two, one. One more each side. Good. Last one. Excellent. We're going to practice with our biceps. We're going to bring our arms up, bring them back down, up, up, down, down. Two more like this. Now lift your elbows so they're parallel to the ground. Now bring your hands to a nice fist, bring it into your shoulder blades, bring it up. Good. Down nice and smooth. Range of motion, just go to whatever's comfortable, keeping your wrist absolutely straight. And lift. Down again. And up. How about two more? Squeeze that bicep muscle. And last one. Perfect. I love it. Now, what, what I'd like you to do, we're going to just practice a little bit of functional training because every day we need to get up and down out of our chairs. So I want you to just take both hands on either side of the chair and you're going to press on that left hand and we're going to stand up and pivot to the left. Slowly grab that chair, use that as a prop to help you and we're going to go to the other side. Press into that right arm and stand up and twist slowly to the other wall. Come on down. Again, use that hand on the chair for stability. Now do that again, press. And you'll notice that my shoulder always stays right above my hand. And when it's stacked like that, it's very, very strong and stable. Come on up. Down again. Good. Up. Good. We've got one more on each side. If you need a rest at this point, please take it. Up. Using your core, keeping your back nice and tall and straight so we're not hunching over. Last one. Up slow with a twist. Come on down. Great job. Whoo, let's rest. That was a lot of work on those big muscles. Well done, everyone. We're going to work a little bit of balance. 
So let's just press up just like we just practiced. We're going to stand and we're going to come to the back of our chair. So take that time at your leisure. I want you to hold on to the chair with your right hand and we're just going to do some balancing work. We need to get our stabilizers firing up. We walk in snow, we walk on uneven surfaces. And when you take a spill or we get you know, tripped up, it's good to be able to react so that we don't fall. All right, we're gonna take our leg to the side and we're gonna bring it down nice and smooth. We're gonna do that again. Pull your toe into your chest, good. And down again, again, up nice and smooth. Use this part of your glutes to help that lift. Up, up, and down. Oh, I'm feeling it in my other leg that's stabilizing. Up, take it down. All right, same leg, we're gonna lift it forward and lean your body backwards, bring it down again. If this leg is getting fatigued on that right side, you can actually just stop for a second, come back to me when it's comfortable, lean that whole body back. So we're hinging right from the hip. One more. Oh, you're champions today. All right, we went side and front, let's take it back to the back of the room. Now come back to the right to the middle and rest three more. Out nice and smooth. Bring it in. Are you squeezing what's behind you? Perfect. Good. And back. One more. Nice and steady and down. Great job. Let's move over to the other side of the chair. And we're going to repeat that process all over again. So stabilize, shoulders are back, belly's pulled into your spine. You're feeling nice and strong and stacked. We're going to lift that right leg to the side. Who's with me? <laughs> I know. Let's go. Take it up nice and smooth. And bring it down three more times. Up. Up, 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 and down. Ooh, it's hard. Again, one side of the body generally is always a little stronger than the other. This is my weak side, two more. So I have to really, really work. Oh, beautiful. One more time. And up. Now, on the way down, we take them together. We're going out front now. Bring them up, up, and back. Good. So we're leaning back with our upper body. Good. And back two more times. Good job. Nice. And back. We have one more. I'm already starting to feel the fatigue in this leg. I hope you are too. Now let's take it behind us. Drive it to the back wall. Now come on forward again. Do that again, same leg. Up, keeping everything in a nice straight line. Yes. Two more. And back down. Last one. I love it. Excellent. And come back down. Woo! Shake your legs out. And then slowly, let's make our way down to a seated position. Hold on to that chair if you need to for stability. And come on down to a nice seated position. But don't pop down. Support yourself and come down nice and controlled. Yes, practice puts memory in our muscles. All right, we're gonna work on our core just a little bit. So I would like you to just take your feet so that they're about hip distance apart and just lean slightly forward like so, and then just come on right back up to a nice seating position. Good, come down again. 
nice and slow, just until you reach a point, I'm gonna call it our sticky spot. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna know exactly what that sticky spot is. And keeping that back nice and straight, shoulders are not rounding at the bottom. Good. Come on down. Two more. You can feel it in your hip flexors too. It's stretching them just a little bit. And come on up, pulling that belly into your spine. We've just got one more of these to do. Wonderful. All right, come on back up. This is our neutral position here. Now we're just gonna slightly lean back and come forward. Do that again. Come nice and back, just till that sticky spot. And forward, keeping those heels anchored on the floor. Yeah, we're halfway. We only have three more of these. They're hard. Come on back. Ooh, my feet really want to lift off the floor. Keep them anchored. Two more. Nice job. And then come back just one more time. Now stay here. Take your arms and you can interlock your fingers. We're just going to twist to the right side. Come to the middle, to the left, to the middle. Good. Right and middle. Now, if this is too much, you can come out of this position and you can sit up just a little straighter. But I really want you to try to get that spinal twist so that we can reach what we call our obliques. And lift. And back to the middle. Nice job. You've got four more. Feeling your core, yes. Three, two, and last one. All right, we're gonna go back to the move where we did when we were in our warm up. So you're gonna bring your arms to shoulder height and we're just gonna twist to the right, come on up and twist to the left and come on up. Go at your own pace. When your elbow hits your furthest range of motion, that's when I really want you to squeeze your side body. Yeah. Great job, everyone. Four more, that's only two on each side. We can do this. Nice. And last one. You're good. That's it. <sighs> Let's just drop our arms, shake everything out. Nice job. Now I just want you to shift your hips just a little bit to the side of your chair. We're gonna stretch out some of those muscles that we just used. When we use them, they shrink. So we need to actually get them nice and supple again. So let's Press your left leg behind and you're just gonna squeeze your glutes. Yeah, that's actually gonna press your hip forward and you're gonna feel a beautiful, beautiful stretch right along here. You can do this move many times in the day. It's very helpful if we sit a lot, our hip flexors tend to close. Great job to keep them open. Nice work. And let's just shuffle over to the other side of the seat. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're just slightly off the edge. Take that ankle back. Make sure you're nice and secure. And when you're ready, squeeze your glutes, pressing that hip forward. Your chest is nice and proud. Good. Just hold it until you feel the stretch. You can move around, trying to actually isolate those muscles, feeling them. Excellent. Lift that leg, come back to the center. Take both legs and just extend them forward. You might have to come to the edge of the chair. And we're just gonna slightly bend forward, holding onto the chair. And we're gonna stretch out those hamstrings. Oh, it feels so good. 
Just come to wherever you're comfortable. You can slightly bend your knees. Try not to lock them out. And when you're ready, squeeze your quads up at the top. Squeeze these muscles, and that's going to actually make these ones activate and stretch for us. Come on up. Good. Let's sit nice and square and steady in the chair. Bring your arms to a nice T and squeeze your back. We're going to open up those chest muscles. Breathe. Ah, oh, feels so good. Now drop your hands down behind your back and squeeze them together and try to lift them just as far as you can. Just to gentle tension. Stretching is never about how far we can reach and what it looks like. It's about getting them right into the muscle and stretching right across. Good. And drop your hands. Take your arm holding above or below that elbow, and we're just going to gently tug on it, relaxing that wrist. And now you're going to feel a nice, gentle stretch in your back. That's awesome. Other side, same thing. Holding on above or below. We never hold on to the joint. And just gently pull so we can get some openness in that joint. Now we're just going to take our arm, reach overhead, coming to the other side. Same thing. Reach. Do that again on the other side. Reach. Now this time I want you to press that right hip into the chair, reaching overhead. Same thing on the other side. You're going to press that left hip into the chair. Feels really good on your side body, doesn't it? Nice work. All right. Let's take those arms overhead or wherever you can get them and just slightly lean back. Opening up that abs. Great job. Breathe in. Exhale. Bring your arms down. And clap for yourself. Take on your day. Have a great one, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. You worked really hard. Good on you. Have a great one. Bye.